Hi guys, uh, this is Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you the coaching session today with KP. Welcome. Hello. KP is diamond on NA, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you sent me one replay, which we shall go over. And you want me to be strict, so I'll be, I'll be quite strict. Don't worry about that. I'll go hard. Perfect. So what do we start, and why, why are we starting what we're starting? Uh, I was going for, since whatever the meta is, uh, from what I just see, you know, um, I just went for BF Sword. Flexible, GA, I guess, um, IE, etc. Slammable items that I was thinking of. Uh, BF Sword is by far the best item right now. So I completely agree with it. Completely agree. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I, I'm just surprised that nobody contested you because it is the best item. I know. I was surprised okay. too at that lobby. Why are we slamming IE right here? Uh, just to be strong early game, I guess. I, I kind of wanted my board to be as stronger as soon as possible. You, you think it's going to so, be it's uh, going to be hard? The, the creeps are going to be hard next level? No. Okay, please, please. I mean, I, I do it very rarely, but I, I, I'm mad at myself. Don't slam items until after creeps. Ever. Perfect. Okay, Sounds like good. that just, like you never need to slam items during creeps, so just never do it. Perfect, perfect. See, right here, I was a little bit torn on what to do, on what to get um, hero-wise or champion-wise. Okay, um, so maybe that could have been a death play, but IE is always better than death play, but just like, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I get huh. what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so, you're saying you want you want like the the hard truth. You you should flip yes. you should flip through every board, every round, and just look if they have a chosen. Perfect. So like you know the hotkeys. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. So three, 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 three. Just click it eight around. times and you and you just go around all over. Perfect. Yeah. Or good. counterclockwise, clockwise doesn't matter. But like bounce every board just to get an idea what people are are building. Um, so. Why do you have the TF? Do you have a reason for the TF? Uh, the, the reason, <clears throat> this, is, this is where I got lost a little bit. Um, that's why I'm seeking your guidance too. Yeah. Uh, TF, I went for TF over like the Nami, the two Namis over there instead. Because uh, first I got the two brawlers uh -huh. um, just to get the board going. And then TF is just safeguard. My, my mindset on that at that point was waiting. Maybe the next round I might get Two more cultists and uh -huh. a cultist. I feel like it's stronger with an extra Galio coming okay. in. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say the TF here is fine. The TF okay. here is fine. Um, something you should consider is Lissandra because you have an IE and an extra sword, so you have three like three components for Diana. So in ah, case yes. you get a Moonlight Diana, Lissandra will be way way better. Perfect. And that's why I would scan through the lobby. If I see anyone else, like if anyone has a Moonlight chosen, I would never bother with Lissandra. But if no one does, I would consider it. But overall, the TF is better. Overall, the TF is better. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you get a TF pair. Nice. Now, um, you could, like, again, if you hadn't slammed the, the IE, wait, okay. Why do you sell the TF? You have a t you had a TF pair. I know, um, man. I was so hasty about it. And yeah. And maybe I was like. Maybe and you're guaranteed gold, gold here. Or... Okay. Uh, so many things. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. I'll let you finish your thought. Um, the, the thing I was thinking, I was like, oh man, maybe the RNG. I guess I I overthink too much in a sense, and I think that's my problem. When I saw that TF, I knew it was a double TF, and I know it's just, it's so early, and I just overthought. I think that's, hands down, that was my problem right but, there. Like, I there's... went for more brawlers and all that good stuff. So. But why not sell the sell the Wayne? I don't get the Wayne, then. Oh, the Wayne, yeah. I don't know. This is this is, this is where I'm, I sometimes get lost in my own thoughts when I'm just going through all this since I knew I had IE 
And I was like, oh, maybe later on, maybe the next the next one, maybe I could go snipers and all that stuff so I could just sell and put the IE on the vein or the jinx or whoever I, what, whatever uh, sharpshooter I get. I got the phrase. I got the phrase. Last time I could remember it. Uh, a bird in the hand is two in the bush. You know that phrase? No, I don't. What? Man, I couldn't figure it out last time. Well, like, if you have two, if you have a brawler pair and a TF pair, uh-huh. You're likely to hit, like, you're more likely to hit another TF or another another Maokai and just hang with that. Uh. So you, oh, like, you always keep pairs, especially if you don't have anything. Like, if you don't have anything, pairs are the best. Perfect. So, like, Perfect. always, always, like, keep pairs. If you have no chosen, if you have no direction, you can just go two-star Maokai, two-star TF, plus uh, Tom Kench, and you're chilling. Sounds good. But keep that in mind. So two pairs all the time. Uh, to keep, and, 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 and another important thing, which sometimes I don't even do, because that's, as I said, like I'm a new top 200. Like If I play on my main account, I, I'm more careful. But uh, try to avoid two costs and definitely three costs this early, unless it's like a specific three costs you can use. Like Never, never have uh, them on your bench. Like The most important thing for... Stage two, like two, one, two, two, even two, three, maybe, is to two star your one costs. Okay, two star one costs. Because it, they're really cheap. Like they're really cheap. It's three, like it's three gold, and it's the best, like most value for three gold you can get. Right, like a a two star TF is better than a Kalista, for example, or um, a two star Maokai is definitely better than a, than a nu, Nunu. Yeah, Nunu. So it's like. Two star one costs are really, really, really strong, and then slowly you're putting in more, more units. Um, I guess like I'll let it run, but yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So here, the play is. So. Um, you need to sell the Jarvan probably, and this, like this, this might be <laughs> specific. Like you can either run. You can either run Z with IE, just for now, or you can sell the sell the Jarvan and Z. Okay. Okay. Why would you do that? I was, I was about to ask. That. <laughs> to pre-level. To, to pre-level. Pre-level. Okay. And why would you pre-level? Get more uh, more units on the board. Um. More importantly. Oh, well, maybe to get more traits, in a sense, also. No, and no, something more important. Oof. Uh, a better chosen. You can get a two-cost chosen. Okay. You are guaranteed a chosen by 2-2. Two, two. You're guaranteed a chosen by 2-2. Two, two. If no chosens have been offered to you yet... You should always be level four, so that I believe it's actually sixty forty. On level oh, three, 60, 40. Okay. on level like no like uh, forty sixty like sixty percent I believe it's sixty percent four cost uh, sorry sixty percent two cost chosen forty percent one cost chosen. Maybe it's 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 forty sixty. I I I I'd have to I'd have to I'd have to check that out, but. Either way, if, if it's uh, 40, 60, or, or it is 40, 60 in favor of two costs. That's why you do it, yeah. It's 40, 60 in favor of two costs. So if you're level four, you have a 60% chance to see a two cost chosen. Perfect. Yeah, so. Right. I'm just type, I'm typing everything that you're saying. <laughs> like the, the highlights and all that stuff. Yeah, and the game hasn't even started, but. <laughs> Uh, no, no, hey, it's, I, no, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Of course, like, of course, uh, like, of course. Uh, this is uh, like my early. Uh, I, I need to know, like, like you said, you know, you're gonna be strict, and I, I really need to know the early games, mid games, and then later on the where I really get lost is like the late late game after the four one down okay. goal is where I'm like my decision making goes to crap. But early game, there are some like these mistakes that you know you see. But these are like tiny time. things that really add up. Like right now, if you if you sell two of the two costs, uh, you either keep Janna because Janna is kind of broken. She's really powerful. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, or, uh, but she's really good with like uh, vanguards more than brawlers. Or you keep the Zed, as I mentioned, to carry the IE, because he's good with IE. He's kind of okay with IE. Okay, and then you, you pre-level. Obviously, you have the Maokai pair and the TF pair. You pre-level, <laughs> and you can get a two cost chosen. So let's see what you do here. You, you, you saw me hover over TF and I was like, oh man, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. You sell a pair. Okay, we never do this. Yeah. We never do this. Okay. okay? Just in Sounds the future, good. you never sell pairs. Never sell pairs. Perfect. This or, Oh, so what? What are oh, we doing? I -leveled. You leveled. I you leveled up. You leveled up. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine, so you can get a two cost chosen. Um, is this your strongest board? Uh, mm, for now, yes. I, I believe so, yes. But I was contemplating on that pike. So I feel like pike is pretty strong. Uh, pike is way, way stronger than Wayne. Yeah? Yeah, no, I agree. That's also, like, oh. never sell Maokai pair. Also... Put the IE on Z. Okay, perfect. So there's like so many things wrong here. Um, because what does IE on Tom Kench do? Why why is IE on Tom Kench? Nothing. Why is IE on Tom Kench? Oh, because I just slammed it way too early. But why is it on him in particular? So there's like no reason behind it. No. Uh, I was doing it as a carrier for now. But okay, I mean, Tom Kench has the highest... On. Highest attack damage of all one costs and most two costs. So actually, by giving him an IE, you increased your damage substantially. Oh, Tom, really? I didn't know that. Tom Kench has the highest AD by far. I, I, I don't think even any two costs compare. So yes, he, but he attacks very slowly. But his AD like, got improved by, by that uh, IE by a lot. But <laughs> why is that better? Uh, ninja trait? Um, for IE, not necessarily. No. Uh, kind of, yeah, but even even more so. Like, there's another another more important thing. Mm, doesn't he steal like his uh, ability? Yeah, he steals yeah. Damage. Uh, damage. So he steals so, damage, and with IE, it's actually multiplied, kind of like yeah. multiplied. Yeah. Yeah. So you're right. You definitely wanna. Either buy this Tom Kench and, and change the Tom Kenches so you get the IE off or like something. Um, alternatively, if you, if you had the Lissandra, you could have gone Moonlight as well. At, like there's so many options, but this is definitely not strongest board. Okay. And you, um, yeah. I wanted to put the Janna over Wayne. Janna over Wayne for sure. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Okay, cool. You oh, do I that. Think I did, I did that. Good. Okay, cool. Um, so another, another like small thing, which actually like, oh my God, you have a, uh, whatever. I'm not going to flame your opponent. Uh, yeah, I'm going to flame you though. Not. Why is the sword over here? What is the sword doing over here? That should have been on a, on a player. Uh, it should be on Tom Kench. Or Tom Kench, yeah. Like if you're, if you're guaranteed selling Tom Kench, you just put it on Tom Kench. Cool. So, um, First, like, you should try to slam items, which you, which you did. So slamming items is good. That's good. And second, if you're not slamming items, at least use the components. So I don't want, like, components lying around ever. So either you use the components or you make items. Like, if you have tier, armor, bow, like, what can you do? You're not, you're not making static sheep, you're not making titans, and you're not making... Uh... Looted. Oh, no. Tier... Oh. Yeah, those are actually the two. Uh, Frozen Heart. Yeah. Frozen Heart. Yeah. So you're not making those items, so then you at least use the components. Yeah? Yeah. So if, if, uh, like, if you can't make any reasonable items, just use the components. And if he had a ZZ, I'm pretty sure he wins this or could, wow, not take full damage. Uh, okay, so I guess always buy off the shop. That's... Like, never have, never fold gold. Okay. When, like, when do I not have full gold? When do I start um, saving, in a sense? As soon as you can. 
But okay. like you never like never. There's no point. Like this should always be a round number, or like it should always end with zero. Okay. So like zero, right. ten, twenty, thirty. Like there's no point of having one. One. Okay. Like gold should so always end in a zero. TF. You buy the TF. Yeah. Or you just just buy whatever. Like even if there's nothing you want to use. Um, okay, so uh, the challenger mentality is after you scout, you look at what other people are building and you buy the units that they want. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit too advanced, but that's kind of what you should be building towards. And you're going to have the, the VOD on, on YouTube. So Yeah, I, I do do that once in a while sometimes. I'm like, I got to be a dick and just, just got to stop their build. You know, you got to stop it. Yeah, stop it. but I mean, if someone's going real, real Moonlight, I will always hold the Sandros and Dianas. If it doesn't cost me any econ, I will do it. Okay. Like the way I see it is like, First, think of yourself. So make sure you're you're making gold. You're not like griefing yourself, and then grief others if you can. Then like it'll make it easier for you. Like I don't know when it was like a week ago, two weeks ago. In one game in particular, I held a bunch of Dianas and the Sandras, and the guy didn't hit, and he hit too late. He had way too low HP, and he died fifth. I got fourth, and that was just thanks oh. to me delaying his his three star Sandra and Diana in that particular game. If I hadn't done that, he could have gotten them earlier, saved more HP, and he would get fourth or get fifth. So, in that game in particular, it it, it saved me like 20, 20 LP. Okay, this is a no brainer, but let's see what, what you do here. 15 seconds have gone by. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, I probably put in the Jinx over Janna, but this is like you, you bought you bought the the sharpshooter. That's important. Uh, can you tell me why you put the items on Italy? Um, she's chosen, so I would figure that um, you know, I I don't know particularly. Um, hopefully, you could give me insight on this. Uh, is it because uh, some of the chosen champions, this from what I've heard and one of my friends told me, that um, chosens have more significantly more um, damage in a sense, like they're boosted? Okay, so you don't know what the chosen traits do. Okay, chosen gives them 200 HP. That's, that's always for everyone. And okay. then for each unit individually, it gives them either attack damage uh, reduced mana, spell power, or more HP. So Nidalee gets more spell damage. Ooh. This you need, like this you need to learn. Like these, like each unit has a different uh, different buff. Sure. Yeah, different buff. Okay. So uh, you gotta you gotta make sure you gotta make sure that uh, you know like you at least kind of are aware of these things. And um, importantly, importantly, uh, what I was getting to is, if you put items on Nidalee, you cannot play sharps. You cannot play oh, okay. sharps, yeah. Be because you have to sell her. Yes. yes. So that that's kind of like what I was getting at. Um, it's kind of sad that you're not buying the Janna pair. I like. I was so torn. I was so torn. I'm not gonna lie. I was so torn. I was like. But what? Like, I... what is the? Thought process, like, behind not buying her? Um, gold. Uh, I was thinking about get, hitting 10 for Carousel. But how does, like, how does having three gold here, or two gold here, or three gold here, make any difference at all? You know you can just sell her next round, right? That's true. You're right. That's, what, that's why we always buy, buy out the shop. And then we sell to 10. I need to put that mindset in. Uh, here, by the way, you have four bro four sharpshooters at your disposal. You had that last round as well. And you see that you see that you're getting more Maokais and stuff like that, more one cost because you have higher chance. That's why it's it's relatively good to two star or one cost because two costs are probably not going to get two starred, and they're very expensive. Yes, they are. Yeah. You're right. So here we're definitely selling the Italy to, to get to 10 if we lose. Um, yeah. 
Small thing, you want another small thing? Positioning wise? Yeah, yes, please, please, please. Okay. Positioning wise. Also, so what, what does Silas, Silas's ability do? Um, it reduces their mana when he does hit. Yeah, his okay, okay. How does it work? Um, what do you mean? Uh, well, he, when he hits him in a, in a straight line. In front of him, yeah? Yeah. So how can you make him hit more units in a straight line? Ooh. I don't, that's a very good question. Uh, let me see. Uh, up front? Yes, no. Up front, right? Um, against most comps, like here, he's not, for some reason, he's not where you are. But most people will, will place a champion right on the first tile. Okay. Somewhere. So you actually want Silas a bit farther back. So he walks up from an angle and he's more likely to smack more units. Wow. Like, look at this. Okay, look at this. So if Silas was over here, do you see my cursor? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. in, in front of Nidalee on the, on the second row, not the first row. Uh -huh. He would walk up to the Tom Kench from this side. He would either walk up to Kenny and slam Kenny and Timo, or he would walk up here and slam Tom Kench and Jarvan. And J4, yeah. Okay, that's, uh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. But this is for, yeah. like, this you kind of need, like, it's just for Silas in particular right now, but you, yeah. <laughs> you need to think about this with every unit. Yes. So, like, is every unit, am I utilizing the unit to its maximum potential? The same goes, like, I did a position, I, I, I wrote a position guide a few days ago. So, like, oh, uh, Garen, Hakarim, they want a lot of units around them because they have a, like, AoE ultimate, right? So you need to make sure that they get a lot of units around them. And that's like how you position them. So positioning is really key. So Silas should definitely like... And Tom Kench. What's Tom Kench's ability? Like... Oh, Tom Kench? Yeah. I think he just had thick skin. Like... Yeah, he just... Armor. He's just a full tank. Like he does nothing. He just soaks down. Like, yeah, soaks up damage. So that's why you can just put Tom Kench by himself. He'll just die. But hopefully Silas will go there and slam. I got lucky right here. Silas hit. You hit. Um, you hit two. You got lucky there. That that's good. And you hit two again. So that was really good. But it's like I want you to think about it consciously and and actually know why you're doing things. What do you want right now? What is the best item for you right now? I think I had a I, chain. I was thinking about chain. For GA. Yeah. But that's gone. So I was kind of torn. And then I was like, um, the next thing was maybe a Giant Slayer. So I was going for... No, both. no. Giant Slayer, no. no. Um, then why why maybe, Giant Slayer? First of all, why, why Giant Slayer? Um, I was thinking about it with the four down. If I do get lucky in the lottery. And the, uh, I was thinking about like mid late game. The four one roll down. It's two four. You're, oh, you're thinking four. you're t you're thinking way too far ahead. Okay. And actually, you still haven't given me the the answer. What's best for you right now? Oh, on the, on the carousel. Yeah. Oh, the, I I mentioned the GA, but it's gone. It's not even the best for you right now. That's oh, really. It's not. Um. I would go with. Uh... G, if not GA, I would go with Zeke's. Yes, 100% no. Zeke's. For right now, you have four sharpshooters. You can level up and put in four sharpshooters, and you have Zeke's. I think that that's is, what I did. That is an insane power spike. That's an insane power spike, and that can like carry you easily to level 7, level 8. Like Zeke's are, are really good on sharpshooters and are really good on, on hunters, and you cannot play Talon. So... There's a trade-off. Okay, so if there's Zeke's, there's no chance to play Talon. You, you like if you grief, like if if you use up swords, it's it's harder to play Talon. Yeah. Okay. But but the Zeke's like right now it's so powerful. So let's see what we do here. We scout with our hotkeys. Yeah, I think you started doing that. Okay. Good. So now it's hundred percent level up. Very good. And 
You have to put in the way and right over the Janna, please. I did not. Oh, three sharps and a and a Janna. I was so torn. I was so torn. I was really, really torn about that because I was like, man, if I don't have, I, my mind, my mindset on this moment was yeah. like, okay, if I get Zeke's jet on to attacks faster, and then maybe I could get more shields for my front line just to hold off, and the back line would just blast him with Jinx having a, a stun and everything. Okay, but Jinx would stun three people instead of two. Nidley would spear three people instead of two. That's such an insane That's spike. Big. Okay. Right? Because from, from three to four, it ricochets twice instead of once. Twice. Yes. So that, that's a really big spike. That's actually good to know too. Oh, you didn't know that? Okay, I thought... No, I, I, like, no I, I knew what it does, but I yeah. didn't know how powerful the spike is on that end. Like on, on, what, what, on the board that I have right now, if I switch off Janna... And this is so sad. You have a Silas in the shop, you have Jarvan in the shop, Garen in the shop, Katarina in the shop, you could be playing Warlords. There's so many things you could be doing right now. And you just, yeah, but you're never doing this again, right? You yeah, always. No. <laughs> I'm always buying out now. You're buying down to 10. <laughs> you're buying down to 10. Like, yes. you have the Silas pair, you can get Jarvan, and you can get Katarina, for example. Or you can get Silas, Katarina, and Garen and Fiora. But, like, you're just buying something. I was like, oh, that's why I was hovering. I was like, I don't know what to do here. Uh... And then I saw the ribbon. Okay. I was like, oh, man. Oh, my God. You have an so insane cool. power spike, and you're... Oh, this is, this is painful. This is so painful. Oh, my God. You did it. Why did it take yeah. you 29 seconds? <laughs> Why did it take you 29 seconds to do that? Man, dude, I, I, like I was telling you, my mind is just thinking like, hey, man, what, what do, like, like I said, I get confused. Uh, I, I have that self-doubt in my head on what to play. Because it's like, mm, is this the right move? Is this too early? Am I, you know, I'm really thinking about this. Is it too I early to play, play a ribbon on two, like you have a ribbon and you have, a, and you have the Jarvan. And you like, and now the, the the really sad thing is, if you put in Wayne, you not only have four. Keeper and four sharpshooters, but you also have Dusk. Yes, you're right. So I hope yeah, at some point. Like, uh... And I like how you spread out the Keeper, so there <laughs> there's no shields. I know. I, I missed that. I was like, oh, it's too late. Yeah, because you spent 29 seconds thinking about it, and you made the right play in the end. And your lobbies I'm are just still, free. I'm still unsure about myself. That's why I. You know, so I, I have you talking to me right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you, you gotta, like, just just be faster. Even if you make the, oh my god, and there's a Talon. It's too bad you sound the Zeke's, though. I know, that's what I was like, oh, should I get this Talon? Should I get this Talon? It, it hits me again. I'm like, a Talon this early is so good. I was like, should I get this Talon? Should I get this? It was still in my head. I'm like, should I get it? Well, you should definitely get the Teemo, right? I should have gotten the Teemo. I always... Um... Okay, you buy Teemo and Talon here. There's no reason not to. I, I don't think I did. Yeah, you didn't, but there's no reason not to do it. Okay. Right? You remember that, like, always always buy down to the interval. Yeah, buy down. Oh, we... What? We got the Talon. Cool. I did get the Talon, but not the Teemo. Not the Teemo, unfortunately. Now, do we put in the Wayne for four sharpshooter and Dusk? Or are we playing a random Janna? We're playing a random Janna. Okay. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. For you to see and, it, so. okay. Okay. Hear me out. Why don't you sell Talon, sell Lux, and put in Wayne? Like, level up, put in Wayne. You'll be at 30 gold, and you'll be unbeatable. And you'll have your, your Janna in there. I was thinking about that. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I pulled the trigger after care. Oh, like, I, 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 I know I went four sharpshooters somehow. 
if I uh, if I remember carefully here. But like right right here right now, you can you either put in the Wayne, and that's strong enough. Or if you want to be even stronger, you can you can put in Talon, or you can put in no. You sell the Talon and the Lux, and you put in Lux. You no, you have to sell them. You have to sell them because they're too expensive. And they're sitting on the they're just sitting on my bench doing nothing. So. No, 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 like this is fine. You're at forty, that's fine. But if you if you leveled, it, you'd go down to twenty four, and then you need to sell them to get back up to thirty. Thirty. Okay. Like you could level and be at thirty here. Like you do this because you're on a win streak, you do it. Like if you're on a five win streak, going to six on three one is completely fine. Just on a five win streak though. To keep winning. Right? Because win streak goal is like win streak goal is really, really important. It gives you like so much such an advantage. And what's another advantage of going to six here? Well, obviously not chosen anymore, so... Oh, no, I could play four shot shooters and have a Janna on the side. Yes, but I mean, in general, which is something that all lower ELO players miss. I'm just Ooh. fishing for an answer, but you're probably going to miss it as well. I think I'm going to miss it. Um, an early... I get to be early in 4-1, I guess. Early nope, that's not entirely connected. Um... I get to sell my chosen early. No. No, I mean like right now on three one. What can it do oh, do for you on three one? I don't know. You will do more damage to your opponent. More damage for sure. Yeah, I, like <laughs> you will beat him and have more units alive. Therefore, you will do more damage to his little legend. It's, it is pretty big because it'll guarantee you top four, right? Yes. So even if you fuck up on 4-1, but you clap all your opponents on, on stage two and stage three, some of them like, will be panicking and rolling down more and they will die out sooner, which guarantees you a top four. I exploited this more in, in set 3.5 because uh, there were no chosens. So I would exploit it even more and do as much damage as I could early in case my late game fell off. I, I, if I had done enough damage earlier on, then I was guaranteed top four. Perfect. So that's how you guarantee top four, by doing a lot of damage to your opponents early. That's why strongest board is so important. Because if you win with six units left or like five units left, you're doing a lot of damage. And yeah... Oh my god. So again, uh, you're not making Zephyr here, but you're definitely using the... You can use a belt or cloak on Kindred. Um, Riven, sorry. So imagine if you had if you had Wayne here and you had more sharpshooters, you could probably win with like four or five units. And that would just do more damage to him. I'm surprised these people are econing so well. That's really good. A, lot of, a lot of them are econing re relatively well. Okay, now we have to level. I think I pulled the trigger here, I yep. think. Very good. That's the board I wanted you, you... Oh, you still think Janna's better then? Okay. Interesting. I don't know. You tell me. You're the challenger. Uh, I, I felt like I needed to bait that... Um, when I saw the other board on this guy, I felt like I needed to bait him. Okay. So do you want to do you want to know how you win this this fight in particular? Okay. So I really like Pike because he has a stun. Mm -hmm. So it's either Pike or Lux, in my opinion, over Janna. Because the Janna is just gonna cast once. And to beat this. To beat this, yeah, it's tough to beat this. But, like, I would put the Janna here because why is Janna so cool? Look, look what she does. That's why Janna is actually good as, a, like, assassin bait because once she gets hit, she, she, makes, she, she shields. So if she was the one over here, as soon as she takes damage, 
she would pop her, she would like create the shield on herself and be able to take even more damage. So she's kind of like a tanky unit in that regard. Like, like not very tanky, but like she'll shield herself, meaning she'll, she'll die a little bit later. And that could have bought you enough time. But honestly, this is really strong. Like the only way, the only way you win against this is uh, probably Zephyr. Like if you really wanted to win, you could have made a Zephyr here. Should I, should I have slabbed the Zephyr there? No. So like, okay. Again, this is above my pay grade. Like I'm not good enough to do this, but you see this line up perfectly. Do you see how this is perfect lined up? Yes. So you could have some Zephyr there if you wanted to win. If you wanted to guarantee the win, you could have just some Zephyr and won. Ah, uh, like, like, like right uh, there at I'm, that at that right moment. Here, at that moment in time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Because the components are pretty good, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, cloak is kind of useless, but. Belt is like I mean if you had Sun the Zephyr there you win this, but that's like a tiny tiny thing. Also, I'm pretty sure you could have held a Yeah, let's see what you do here. You're okay, just I was contemplating about like my positioning, I'm like, uh, okay, I, I was like, I dealt with the assassin now, so what do I do? Um, do I put Vayne over Janna? Oh, that's what I was contemplating, and I was like, I need the shields over all my... You're just fucking about. Um, first of all, you need the ribbon where she was, so she shields more, because this way she shields fewer units. And second of all, you have a fucking warlord in the shop. Which you completely so, ignore. You're, you're saying Warlord over... Over fucking Janna. That was... I don't know why Janna's there in the first place. Oh, right. right? Warlord? Right. He's a tank? Yeah. Jin Zhao is a tank. You need more tanks. Sharpshooters need tanks. You have enough damage. You just need... You need to take... You need to be able to sustain. And okay. it'll right. help if you're positioning bullshit. You put the Wayne where Janna is. And you move the Riven back. And you put yeah. the... Jin Zhao in front of Riven and um, Jarvan, so he gets a, a nice keeper buff. See, I don't, I don't see these things, and you do, and that's that's that. This is why this, I went to you. I mean, this is this like blatantly thing. obvious to me, but I guess like, because you always need to look at what's in your shop and how to make the board stronger, and this is yeah. really like really important stage two and stage three. When you have Anam, like you have no two stars, right? So. Mm -hmm. Jinja 1 over Janna 1, that gives you Warlord, while Janna gives you nothing, that's a huge spike. Big spike. Yeah. Right. Man, I didn't even see that. Like, you pointing it out right now really, really helps me on how to see the board, yeah. how to see my shop, etc. And again, no ZZ Rod, for some reason, he can definitely... Either not get as, as as hurt, or maybe even win if he probably not win, but at least like not take as much damage. So what do we want now? Oh crap! Okay, from these items, it's kind of <laughs> kind yeah, of no. kind of bad. Um, I was thinking ZZ Rock for uh, Recruit Bow. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe a chain if I could QSS. But I was thinking more ZZ Rod. ZZ Rod is very good here. I'm a little upset that you're not even buying like the Jarvan. Like how like how do you want to get stronger? You're not buying your pairs. J J4 and Zin Zhao. I mean Zin Zhao, okay, fine. You didn't know about Zin Zhao, but you already have Jarvan on the board. Like, yeah. How are you not I buying pairs? So like always buy pairs, right? It doesn't matter that you're gonna sell him on for one. But he, yeah, if he... that, that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, I, that's why I wanted to. Since you mentioned that, I wanted to touch base. It is it smart to 
will waste the gold then, and even though I go to like 40, 40 plus gold, is that okay before hitting? Because my, my, my mindset on this is, okay, let's, um, let's have a good strong early game, and then when we pivot up to mid game with all the, you know, for one roll down is, you know, I, I want to have a big healthy economy to roll wait, down. Wait, wait, you just said let's have a strong early game. This is what you call a strong early game, bro. Really? So it's not a strong early game. This is like obviously, obviously. Like you could good. you could be buying more yeah. units to, to increase your strength, and you could uh, definitely be buying pairs. Hmm. And I don't know if you played in set three. I did not. I did not. Cause before, you got ripped off if you sold an upgrade unit. Now you lose one gold. Before you used to lose a lot more gold. Like on two costs, it, it was four gold if you sold. And three costs, I believe you got six gold back. So you got ripped off. No, you, maybe five gold. Like you got, you lost a lot more gold back then. Like now you only lose one gold by selling anything upgraded apart from a one cost. So like you're very incentivized to buy everything. Okay. Because if you buy it, you upgrade it and you win a round, that's, that's your one gold. If you, if you upgrade it, you lose a round, maybe you preserve one eight, like... Uh, 2 HP, 4 HP. And that's definitely worth it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so here, if you had anything to play, you could level up, potentially. Should I, should I have leveled up? No. Uh, you, if I had something potential. If you had something to play, and like if you were still on the win streak, definitely. Like right now, it, it, 50 gold is better. 50 gold is better. Okay. Like, I, ah, this is so tilting. Like, I mean, I like I like your items. I hate that fact that he has no items. And he's losing to a weaker board. Okay. Please. Yes. Don't tell me you don't buy that ash. Okay. Why are we, what are we, why, so why are we sure. selling the Lux? What is the point of selling the Lux? I have no idea. At that moment, I think I was thinking, uh, I need to be up 50. Okay. But I think now, please, I'm watching this, go ahead. Um, I don't do, like, I, I don't, I break these rules as well, but for you, it's, it's much easier. Never buy XP. Just don't buy XP. Like, unless you're leveling up, just don't bother buying XP, okay? Okay. Because if you get a good chop and you don't have enough gold to buy the units because you pre-leveled, it's, it's just dumb, right? Yeah, that's true. Because like, I could have used that. You could have used the gold to, to buy the units. Like, there's no, like, you never need to put gold in XP until you're actually leveling up. So I do it as well, but like it's, it's a bad habit and sometimes I regret it and it's just, it's just pointless. And even yeah. like if you win here, you could have kept the Janna anyway. That's another thing. If you had like, yeah. yeah. Plus one, yeah. Okay, what do we do here? We're selling the Southern Italy, Southern Italy. Also, okay. I, I sell now. Right when you hit seven, I do sell, or do I wait till actual four one to roll down? Okay, first of all, you're extremely rich. This is very rare case, very very rare. Um, you have two options here. You either sell the Nidalee, so that you you get a free roll, you get a free roll, a free chosen roll after after wolves, right? A natural shop. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. After, after, yeah. Um, or what's probably like a way, way, way better play, which in this position in particular you should always make, is if you were actually powering up, like if you actually power up against these weak ass lobbies, you just cruise to eight. You can cruise to eight from here. Like you buy the Jinjiao, you have the four sharpshooters, you have the you have the warlords. You keep this bench and you cruise to eight. You can go eight on uh, four or five after carousel. 
So you play, you play three more rounds. Maybe you lose them. Doesn't matter. You have 97 HP. And you go to eight after carousel. And then you spike like a madman. Then you roll down on eight. You, you have higher chosen odds. And you can more easily two-star your forecast. And you can find legendaries. Or like instead of, two, instead of 1%, it's six. Six, yeah. So I never want you to, like, if you're in this position, I never want you to roll down on seven. Because, okay. like, right now, you're going for first or second at worst. Like, look at, look at your HP advantage. This should be a first. Maybe a second if someone high rolls. From this position. Okay. This is at, at worst a second. <laughs> at worst a second. So let's you're see how you... upset at what you see, but um, do I question do i pre-level uh remember when you said to cruise to eight do i pre-level uh on cruising to eight or no keep, like keep buying the shop like you said you always buy the shop that the, you like you never you never invest in in levels right? right you just keep buying the shop and then on on four five or like you always make sure you're about 50 and on on four five if you feel that you're weak you can sell you can sell your your uh, yeah, you will you will set your chosen and you and you will roll down on eight okay. on eight. If you're not too weak and you want to guarantee that you're first, you you rebel to eight on five one, and you roll down and you have like seventy gold. No kidding, you you, you would be at seventy gold on five one level eight. Oh, wow. And you would just like roll down and hit like a two star legendary. You hit a chosen whatever, like whatever chosen you want for four cost. And maybe if you sack stage four, you'll be at 50 HP. But you'll be level eight and you'll, you'll have like an extremely powerful board. Perfect. That makes sense now. But this is like, this is a high roll game. But the way you're playing it, if you, if you, if you actually, yeah, I guess the way you played it. Yeah, so the way you're playing it now is like you're playing the four like you're playing the four one lottery, but you already won like a mini jackpot. By so getting I the gambled more away. But it's like I don't know, you, you won a million dollars and you're like, you know what? I'm putting the million dollars on the table, I'm going for a hundred million. While most people are like, oh I won a million dollars, that that's that's I won the lottery like a small lottery, I'm happy with that. So I got greedy. No, you, you got stupid. <laughs> Sorry, it's not, <laughs> not greedy, stupid. Like, because uh. like if you have, like again, if you have a million dollars, I'll take a million dollars and I'll, and I'll be happy. You're like, I'm giving my million dollars away so that I can get a hundred million. But you can also end up zero. Like why risk it? Right? Like why risk it? Like you already were strong enough. You... Could have cruised to eight, and for some reason you risk it on what? Like maybe you hit hunters, maybe you don't hit hunters. Yeah, you're you're well. Just to give you a warning, your your brain's gonna hurt after okay. this one right here. So you even have the jinx, which you miss. Okay, cultist. Um, again, cultist. Um, right now, or, or actually, you tell me. Sorry, I shouldn't be. I'm talking too much. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what is the point of the level 7 roll down? I'm sorry? What is the point of the level 7 roll down? Uh, to get a better chosen. Okay. Continue. Um, so, level 7 roll down for me is to, like I said, the lottery. Uh, get, uh, it shouldn't be a lottery when you're this far ahead. It should not, you should not like, participate in this, in this form of gambling lottery. when you're this far ahead. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, to get back to your question, like basically a four star, to get a good four star carry. Okay. And like, why do you want that? Matt, to uh, have a power spike. Okay. To kill people. Definitely. No, that's not happening. Stabilize, uh, stabilize my board. Stabilize your board so you can go to eight, possibly nine. Okay. Like the whole point of this is so you go to eight. That's why it's so tilted that you sold the Nidalee, which could have gotten you to eight anyway. Anyway, oh my God. See, now I get it. 
Now I get... This is why I've been losing. <laughs> like, because you just threw the game away. Like, this was a first or a second at worst. And you threw it away. Oh, I... This is why I uh, sent you yeah. this one. Yeah. So it's like... The point of the level 7 rolldown is to get to level 8 and, if you can, level 9. So, the more gold and HP you can preserve, the better. Obviously, you, here you can trade some HP for, for, for uh, gold, so you can go to 8 sooner. But, like, the whole point of this rolldown, like, if you're at 59, 61 HP, like, if you're at these bottom guys, Maybe you should consider selling the chosen and rolling down. But if you're in this guy's position, like no fucking way am I selling my, my sharpshooter chosen that can just carry me to eight. And you can, you can watch, I mean, today was not a good day for me, so today you might not want to watch the boss from today. <laughs> but in general, like you can, you can pop by my stream, I guess. Shit, you went to bed when I woke up and you woke yeah. up now. Um, yeah, so <laughs> at some point you should be able to catch me on stream because I streamed for eight hours and those are the eight hours you slept. But I guess, I guess maybe tomorrow or, or Friday I'm playing in a tournament. Friday I'm playing in a tournament from, from around this time. So Friday. Are you streaming it? Yeah, so Friday morning when you wake up you can, you can join me on stream. And I actually don't troll. I don't troll on the tournament too much because it's for, for money. So I actually yeah. want to win the tournament. On ladder I troll sometimes. But like you can ask me why I do things and I... And the, 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 the main thing is getting to 8, getting to 9. So let's see what you do here. You hit a spike. You can chill. Oh. Well, just, just watch what I did, man. You might not be too happy about this. Wow. Um, your items are kind of... Oh, you have Bramble for Riven. Bramble, Sunfire Cape Sunfire. for Riven... And you have IE Zeke's for um, gin. for gin. I, I was thinking of gin. Yeah. Oh wait, um, no, not some. Oh no, 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 no. You had Bram brambles way more important. More, more important. I I don't know if I scouted the board to check if they had IE, but I did get bramble later on. Like uh, Sunfire Cape. Like okay, Sunfire Cape does nothing on four one. It's um. Is it's, it too late? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's too late. You know how Sunfire Cape works, right? Um, no. Oh, great. Okay, every two seconds, you spread the, the fire from your, your uh, champion two tiles away. Uh, every two seconds. And it burns 25% of their HP over 10, over 10 seconds. So the fights are not long enough for you to actually get good value from Sunfire Cape. Okay. It's really good on stage two. Like, not really. Like, it's, it's pretty good stage two. It's kind of okay stage three and stage four. You don't. You, like, you never, you never want to make it. If you okay. can make better items. Sounds good. So, I, I messed up on this one. Yeah. We're cleaning up the bench, I hope. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Because um, look at your gold. Path of gaming, man. Um, you're gonna have to uh, keep watching, because it this this will uh, this will hurt your brain. You, you you sold the Wayne, which you need for dusk. Okay. Dusk. Mm -hmm. And I regretted it at that moment. <laughs> Great. And you sold the Jana, and you're at 18. You're still at 18. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Yeah, why? What? What is this comp? Yeah, there's Jin. Good, good. Jin's going back in. Uh, what did you sell? Um, you, yeah, you sold. Jana's fine. Finally, finally. I'm. I'm glad you sold her. Although you could have two starred her now. Just yeah, and then put her in with this instead of Morgana, right? Um. Yes, and you and Shen for Mystic. Yeah, you would have Mystic. Yeah, that would be good. Mystic. That's what I was thinking. So I was like, <laughs> but now I'm you have another slow. ninja. Okay. I messed up. And I was freaking out here, and then I put in, I think I put in Shen accidentally, and then I lost the ninja. Eight Great. frogs, and then you, oh, nice, you lost the ninja, and yeah. wow, this is... This is a shit okay. board. Is this stronger than what you actually had before you started rolling? No. Then smack no. yourself and never do this again, 
Okay? Yes. Like, yes. The, the, number, like the number one rule is if you participate in the lottery, at least come out stronger than when you went in. Yes. Okay? I, I literally trolled. You, yeah, you did. Thank you for, I, I mean, I don't want to use these, these no. words, but like, it does seem no, like you're trolling here. And this is why, like I said, that's the reason why I'm like, well, I, oh, I'm just, there, there's no reason. Now you're giving me a reason for what's the reason for me to roll down on 4 1 and why not to roll down on 4 1? Because I was just blindly rolling down because I don't know how the mechanism of the game worked at that moment in time. In a sense, yeah. So my brain just keeps like firing about. Okay, I need to roll down to better my board so I can win this late game or to stabilize this board uh, because everybody else is doing it. Um, now that you mentioned it, like, no, we're not doing that because I was already strong. The board is already stabilized. I am at first with a huge um, HP, and like you said, the because. And then I didn't have a goal, like I didn't know where the path was going. Yeah. So the path now is to go to eight, get even stronger late game. And then go to nine. And then, then clap. Go to, nine to, to, just... to get two star legendaries. Exactly. So now I get that. Because the two star legendaries were never in my brain. And then when I was getting into like higher like when I was playing like Diamond Four, like eighty four LP, I started seeing people at like Diamond Two Diamond three players, yeah, and I'm like, wow, how are they so? Why am I losing so bad? Why am I like, uh, like I'm not losing. I, I didn't get it, but then I see them at eight and nine. I'm like, how are they eight nine? Yeah, exactly. Because star cost legendaries. You know? That's because that's a spike. And what's amazing about your lobbies and what what happens to most of the people on my Discord? Like once I mm -hmm. explain this to them, they're all going to nine and putting in legendaries. And they're all de destroying their lobbies because no one in, in Platinum and Low Diamond actually plays their strongest board early enough. So they just steamroll them early. Then they bleed HP. Then they go 9. And then they just put in many, many 2-star legendaries and win the game. It's as yeah. simple as that. That's what I see all the time. Yeah. Because I, maybe there's like maybe you meet some, sometimes you meet a smurf. So if they're smurfing, that's, that's how you get out of this, this trash elo. Like... You don't have to bother with Diana, with Talon, with Ash. All you need to do is play whatever the game gives you until stage four, then kind of bleed a bit stage four, maybe stabilize stage five, like maybe later, and you can just slam slam uh, level nine and just put legendaries and just win the game. Especially from your, from your spot. Uh, yeah. Minor thing, I guess it's very minor. You know how keeper work buff, how the keeper buff works, right? Uh, the more they're together the more shield you get. Yeah. yeah. And the more stronger the actual keeper gets, right? Yeah. So you want to make a triangle. Yeah. Okay. If you're playing keepers. Yeah. Um, I, I was, this is the thing. I was torn right here. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, that's fine. What, what is the... What do you want with Riven? What do I want with Riven? Dusk? Yes. I have the dusk right yes. Right. So you, you actually... You definitely want the Wayne and you definitely want like Thresh or Cassio. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I was uh, trying to look for, but I think the game kind of trolled me also, since I trolled it. I mean, the right. game gives you something. Like, you take what the game gives you, obviously. Uh, and yes, you can finally get back... You can finally get back to 50. 50. Which I hope I did. I, I really doubt it, but let, let's hope. Yeah, this guy destroyed me. I, this is the guy that ended up winning with his... Um, Char oh my god, um, duelists don't win lobbies. Duelists never win lobbies. So that just shows you how weak the lobby was. Yeah. Cause well, like especially with these items, with these items, there's no way you can win if the lobby is like competent. Because these are, there's no like the only good item on him is is QSS from what he has. So yeah, he should not win. So what do you want here? Bramble. I was thinking Bramble. Yeah, okay, so the, the, the thing you want here is Dusk Spat. Had you not made the stupid Sunfire Cape. Yeah, you're right. To guarantee that you get six Dusk, and so that you don't have to play, like, shitty Dusk units. Okay, never mind, it's gone. 
how how did they leave you in armor? Armor is such high value. I, I'm telling you, this lobbies are so weird. I get lobbies where it's like everybody's fighting for sword, rod, bow, and then I have lobbies that are just troll. Okay. Like this one. I was like, what do I do now? I'm so lost. I was so lost here. I was like, uh... You're doing the right thing. You're at 50 gold. You're probably going to level up to 8 at some point, I hope, rather than roll down. Well, you're at least putting the gold in, in levels, which kind of prevents you from rolling more, which is good. Um, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I don't know why the ash is there. Like, why not put in... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's... Uh... Yeah, definitely other Riven, actually. Other Riven over Ash would be better. Really? Okay. Because uh, it's, it's a two-star Riven, and right? It's and you... two, yeah, I have two two-star Riven. I wanted... I was so torn on this position. I was so torn to roll roll down to just make it a three-star Riven. No, 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 no. You never do that on seven. Okay. When do I do that? At eight? Eight. Uh, but you don't have to do it. Like, okay, first of all, you need to actually count Rivens. And you need to tell me how many ribbons are in the game. Are in the board. I think there was, so I had six, seven, and then there's another person that had two. Okay. And how many, so how many is it again? I, I forgot on, on four stars. Uh, 12 four costs. Oh, there's only 12? Yes, there's only 12. Oh my God. Yeah, so. So that's why like, it's very unlikely that you actually hit enough of them. So that's why it's, it's never worth the gamble either. But like in this position, I would definitely hold the Rivens and I would definitely wait. Okay. Um, but like uh, Irelia is not that important. Like here, it's always Yumi over, over probably Ash. So you can actually put the items on Jin. I was thinking about that too. But the two adapt, is that? No, but okay. Uh, Ash is definitely out of here. Like, Ash is doing absolutely nothing. I mean, yes, That's Ash does right. damage, but, like, Jin could do more damage with the, I, with the IE. Uh, and Yumi will give you Mystic. Okay. That's why I, was, I kept looking at the uh, damage report, because I'm like, do I throw away Ash here, or, like... I, that's you, you throw away Ash because the, the IE is giving her damage, but it could be giving damage to Jin instead. And that's why I was thinking, man, I really do need Mystic since I almost lost to um, that uh, Ari. I mean, Thank God for <laughs> Riven is super Zizarot. strong, super strong. Thank God for Zizarot. It was Riven. Oh, Azizi maybe helped as well, but Riven. So, like, now, obviously, you, you never sell the Riven. It's really bad you don't have the Wayne. You want Wayne over Jinx and Cassio over whatever, so then you have four four dusk, which will which is a huge huge spike for Riven. Oh, excuse me. QSS. That's not the best, but you can you can slam it for for Riven. I was torn. What else are you making? You have to roll. If you level up, you have to roll. If also, you level, I do have to roll at eight. Well, if you level up, you have to roll. I rolled till. till you rolled like once or twice. Okay. So here you always you always slam QSS here. Like you don't want okay. you don't want Elder Spat or Infiltrator Spat or Assassin Spat. Um, you slam QSS here. If you level up, there was no need to level up because you could have just cut the the ash or Casio mm -hmm. and level up on uh, five two it's cheaper it's a better interval and if you do level up then you should strongly consider rolling because you just increase your odds and you can two star your your forecast easier and three cost as well okay. so typically you, you you level up to add a unit if you have a good unit on already or you level up to, to roll a bit. Like once we, like whenever you level up, you should kind of roll a little bit. Okay. Maybe not so much right now on stage uh, three, but I'd say on patch 1024, you can just level, you can, you can even roll a little bit on stage three once you hit six. I sometimes do it as well. So on the new patch that's coming, when, when is that new patch coming? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. So we, 
we now roll on six, you said? Uh, like, even this patch, you can roll a bit on six. Next patch, it's, it's going to be completely fine. Because okay. next patch, you, you probably won't get a forecast chosen on seven. So it, there's no point, like, going to seven and doing it. Sounds good. Yeah. So it's definitely QSS here. Your board is super weak. It's just driven. Yeah. Um, and yeah, her luck has run out. To, uh... Oh, what? Holy, oh. yeah. Wow. Lucky. So the QSS, you know another thing, what, does Q, what QSS does? Uh, aside from no TC for 10 seconds. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. 20% dodge. Oh, because of the... That's right. Because so it's actually dodge. like it's actually kind of good against... Like, QSS is really good because it's like good against CC. It's also kind of okay against AD because you can dodge AD sometimes. Uh, um, so what are we doing now? Are, like, you just barely won. How are you this confident that you're chilling? How is this board a chill board? It's not a chill board. But I guess I got... I guess I I could take... Because I was still on first, 89. Yeah. And I was like, maybe I could bleed a little and then maybe I'll get my the dusk that I needed. Like, the rest should pop up finally and all that good stuff for Lilia. Okay, so... Um, you're, you're, you're weak as shit, so you, you can't go 9 from this point, so I would yeah. roll a little bit to at least 2 star some of my units. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's always another Riven over Ash, so you have the items on, on Jin, and obviously you, you're hoping to find another Dusk. Like, like, how are you not rolling for Dusk? Like, do you know what four, like 4 Dusk does, right? Um, doesn't it apply to all allies now? No. Four dusk just applies to dusk units. Oh, okay. But because you have a chosen dusk ribbon, who's actually the only like the, the main unit of your composition doing anything, increasing her damage is extremely important. Okay. And it, it, it increases her damage and her survivability because AP scaling also applies to her shield. So if she has more ability power, she will also shield for more. And you're rolling, this is completely pointless. This just, just tilts you, it tilts me. Like, if you're rolling during the round, and you hit something, you just get tilted because you didn't put it in. You didn't put it in. So, and you griefed your economy. Which I, I have, like, I guess it's the thing that I learned at some point. Like, I, I know I didn't know it from the beginning, so. But, like, right now, you, you could have just sold the ash and been at 50. You roll down, you're, you're at 30 now. So instead of 50, you're at 30. So that's two interest you just lost for no reason. So hopefully now you realize that you should sell the Ash and you should make a QSS. I don't know what, what item you want on Riven if you don't want the QSS. I didn't know. I really didn't know what. So if, if, if you don't know anything better, then just make the QSS. Okay. And for fun, like, this is... Yeah. Your brain hurts. It does hurt, because what is the Ash doing there? My brain hurts because the Ash has no place there. Okay, Dust Spat is gone. I wanted the Dust Spat. Yeah, you did want that Dust Spat. I was like, should I just make Riven Tanky then? Well, since you didn't take the QSS, that is the right play. Uh, what is another option? What is a, a fun option that will win you the game as well? But it's very fun. Very fun. Oh, man. Um, I was thinking at this point in time now, since I was eight, and I have a chance of this, like 6% chance of getting um, a legendary. Yeah. I was thinking just making that spat into an elder, an elder and put in set. If I could get a set. Oh no! Oh, for fuck's sake! No. You're going. A, you're going a completely different comp, though. Yeah, I, 
at this point, I, I really didn't know what to do. I was like so confused at what to do. Like I'm, I'm like, I need to hit for dusk somehow, and uh, the game's not giving it to me. So well, maybe you, okay. you should roll a bit. Uh, but yeah. here you can actually get the assassin's bat and make another assassin, and you have two assassins. Oh. And you can just yeah. make assassin riven and she'll just like destroy the back line. It's kind of troll, but it's really powerful. Because you have assassin's bat here, and you have assassin's bat like that you can create. Oh, that's true. Like obviously, I would have slammed QSS on five one, but since you didn't, you might as well take advantage of the assassin's bat. Who would I have made a second Shen? Oh, sorry. As a, if I if I was to take that bat, I mean the assassin's bat, would I have given it to Shen? Uh, you can go to Jinx, for example, or someone. It doesn't really that it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. So you you found you found the Ezreal. So put in the Ezreal and make the Elderwoods pad. If that's what you're going to do, then fucking do it. I hate this indecision. Like, even if the decision is wrong, at least fucking make it and do something. Like, uh, yes, putting in Ezreal here and making uh, Elderwoods someone is the wrong play. But it's better than doing it later if you're going to do it anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're yeah. Right. The indecision is killing me here. Like I think that's been I think that's been the whole problem here. Also, if you made if you made Elderwood Riven, she would never die. That's kind of another fun fact. But that's right, because she will kind of like this. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? Okay, why are we rolling now? We're never rolling. Like, you never roll before a creep round, right? Yeah. Because, like, it doesn't matter what happens now. You have enough HP, so you just keep your gold and uh, roll after creep round. To make okay, sure you get interested. You roll after the creep round. Well, right now, like, you're at 50, right? Like, it, you're not, like, it doesn't matter whether you win the next round or not. And, I mean, you're at 50, so it's fine. But, like, you would never want to drop an interest threshold right before a uh, creep round. Technically, you don't want to even bother after carousel because it's just like two fights, right? Okay. So you just want to make sure you're econing up. And you can, you, you can roll down to 50. You can always roll down to 50. That's fine. Did you just put golden levels? Or, wait, what? What, what, did the video skip out? Did, yeah, did it skip out? It did. But for some reason you bought the Warwick and you're not at 50. So, yeah. You, you, you wasted gold on rolling and you got a Warwick so you dropped below 50. And now you put, you did put gold into levels. You did. Okay, so we're going 9. How the fuck do you want to go 9 on this board? I have no idea. <laughs> but it seems like you are. Uh, by the way, why should you have made the QSS right away? Like, what uh, What are you waiting for? I'm in decision. Okay. Uh, do you know when you can get the next component? carousels that's only time and obviously if it's only on the sixth carousel fifth carousel is always completed items always so you're never getting a component on the fifth car on the fifth carousel. fifth carousel that's why you should always yeah. make your items be like on five one just make whatever you can maybe just like hold one component and then you can match it on six three on the the sixth stage carousel but like this QSS, not having the QSS probably cost you like an additional, I don't know, 10 HP or 8 HP at least. Just having it on Ash or having it on someone. Like, 
Putting it on the wrong unit is better than not using it at all. This is all indecision right here. Yeah, like what the fuck is this? Okay. Uh, you committed, you, oh God, so why did, oh, what the fuck, oh, fuck, this is, this is, yeah, you just lost the game, nice, good job, you just lost the game right there, that did next to nothing for you, and you still have three dusk, yeah, that's, that's how you lose games, holy crap, okay, at least, okay, this guy is actually waiting to go. What the fuck is this? <laughs> so you have two star Ash, two star Riven. What are they playing? Like, Riven, Ash, and Talon are the most contested units in the game, and they're playing. Okay. But, uh, Your I lobby's know. just trolling. Your whole lobby's fucking trolling. Like, this guy, maybe he's not completely trolling. Like, this guy kind of knows what he's doing. But the rest of the lobby's just. So such, such such trolls, man. Yeah, same. I, I was trolling too. Yeah. So like you wanted to go to nine, you got to nine, but you got there like very painfully in a very confusing way. That should have gone on Jin, perhaps, for more damage or something. You should still roll. You should still roll. I was getting confused. Why? Why did you not put in Zillion? I was contemplating putting Zillion, but I didn't know who to pull out. Shen, for example, he's one star. So definitely. Cassio, Shen. Cassio can go out. She does Since like. I only have two dusk. Anyway, yeah. Three dusk. But Zillion is. Is like the one of the best legendaries. He's an S tier legendary. S tier legendary. So always put in seven whenever you can. You know, I'm glad that I uh, did this one. Okay. Did no, I'm glad that I yeah. did this board. Because Zillion this. gives you gives you GAs. Like free GAs. Okay, the torture's over. Okay. We got a third. We got third. This was a first, but you got third somehow. That's that's okay. It was a first, but you got you ended, you ended up third. Yeah, because I, I trolled. I threw. I I literally threw that game. You threw the game on four one, like there were minor things throughout until four one. But on four one, you threw the game, and then you just kind of like, why did you have the ribbon on the bench, for example? Did you ever want to roll for a three-star ribbon, for example? Like, if you're at eight and you're weak and you have seven ribbons, try the three-star ribbon as a way out. Like, I don't think you, you could, I mean, I'm going to ask you, but I don't think you can answer the question, like, what was your win condition here? Honestly, my win condition at that time was literally... Like, what is your win condition here? What are you, like, how do you win here? I think I was just aiming for top four at that point, right when I, right when I messed up at four one. But like, still, like, what do you? What, what is your board like? What do you want your board to be? What are you aiming towards? I was literally trying to get the dusk four, but to no avail because I I think I rolled the wrong way. Well, you could have rolled. On 6-1, you could have scouted. I don't think there are that many Rivens. You could have hit Riven 3. You're definitely going to hit uh, Thresh or Wayne. And you power up on 8. And you get 2nd or 1st. Because, like, you, you can't go 9. Like, from the spot you put yourself in on 4-1, you cannot go 9. Yeah. You could have gone 9 very easily this game. And, like, with uh, more health and more gold. But... The way you did it was, was just uh, very poorly executed. And I think indecision really killed me. Because I don't know how to play certain boards, in a sense. Like the Dusk board, you know. Uh, I think 
there's still a lot for me to learn. Okay, um, not knowing the board, yeah, you, you just uh, learn from grief sheets. You can look at the grief sheets on the TFT subreddit. Okay. There's lots of grief sheets of like how you're supposed to build the composition. So I guess f for you for now, you can just grief yourself by building building the compositions on the grief sheets. And once you actually learn those compositions, you can you can start playing them. Yeah. If, like, uh, sorry, if that no. makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense. Um, like the the thing is, I think I the reason why I went all the way to diamond was just because of the lottery. I got lucky with the four once on the lottery with um, the enlightened adept kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's strong, but like so, here here I, is the comp. Here is the comp. And this comp is definitely better than your comp. Wayne, Thresh, Cassio, Riven, Lilia, Zillian, Sejuani, Azir, Kane. Or like one of those guys. What, where is this sheet at? I can, um, I can send it to you. There you go, send it to you. Thank you. It's just like one of many grief sheets. I, I've stopped using them. Uh, like I used them a bit at the beginning of set four, but I stopped using them because like... I know them, like I know this by heart, kind of, but I know it more by feel. Like I know it by feel, just like what I need to put in. But you should memorize, memorize this and play the comp compositions like this for a while. And once you know what the composition should look like, any composition, that's when you kind of can flex away from it. Okay. Because like six dusk is kind of, like all these compositions are level seven or level eight, right? But once you get to level nine, the gloves come off, and you just yeah. you can just play whatever. Um, well, this game this game kind of didn't work out the way I wanted it to last game, but I think yeah I think there's some point to it. I think I I think I played. Oh, I played yeah I played very very similar game to what you showed me. So if you still have a few more minutes, I got I still got a few more minutes if you want. I can show you. Uh, Sharp shoes. Are we gonna do the, the stream also, or are you done for the night? Um, I have another call in half an hour, so there won't be enough time for it. We can okay. schedule it at some other point if, if you're cool with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. So this game, like, I got Mystic Janna, which is super powerful, and yeah. So after that, Mystic Janna just hard carried me. If it loads, you still see my screen, right? Yeah. So I'm just I'm just uh, building around to make sure that my board is strong. Look at my look at my board like two star two star two star because it's chosen, and then ZZ and like I'm using as many items as I can, and I'm barely winning. And then I will show you my four one roll down. You you're gonna like my four one roll down. So. Here's my 4-1 roll down, somewhere around here. So you you actually went for the 4-1 roll down also, even though you were 100, because this I is will, kind of I, I want to show you my 4-1 roll down. I want to show you my 4-1 okay. roll down. I was level 7 uh, way earlier because I was winning. So I sell the Janna. I put in another Janna. Okay, I sell it so that I can hit a chosen... Uh, a chosen uh, forecast. Okay, and that's my 4-1 roll down. That's it. That, I'm done. You're done. I'm done. Nothing more. Put in Mystic. Figure out what I want to make. Spark and Titans, why not? It'll help me for now, and that's it. Uh, that's it. Keep it simple. And I'm, like, I didn't change, because like, by changing my board, I would actually get weaker, right? Yeah, People were right. pointing out that Jin would have been better, and I agreed with, with, that Jin would have been better than TF. So I agree with that. So I just barely lose here, but I'm at 50. So then I, I kind of lose a bit here, no big deal. And unfortunately it does not work out the way I wanted to, obviously since you saw the result. But then like, 
I, I think I got unlucky. Like, obviously, maybe maybe I don't see it, but I think I got unlucky here. Cause, like, this is this is what you want to happen. Like, I level up to nine here. After wait, after this, I level up to nine, and then I roll down, but I don't hit anything. So, hmm. but I put myself in a pretty good pretty good position, I think. So when you roll down, uh, let's say right here after this, you roll down, you roll down all the way to zero. Well, I'm on nine, of uh, course. Yeah, and then you just roll down until you hit, right? I yeah, but look what I'm I'm not hitting anything, so that's that yeah. kind of. Then here, this was indecision as well. Indecision as well. Yeah, I didn't use this effort properly. And this hurts so much. Like, I completely get slaughtered here. Because I, I wasn't fast enough on my roll down. But I didn't get a chosen 5 cost, right? Yeah. So I try again. And I don't hit anything. I hit a talent too late. A little bit too late. Sharpshooter. This hurts too. Yeah. This is unlucky. The RNG is just. I, I, f I felt like a bit unlucky here. Like. And. <laughs> I, I put it on the QSS. <laughs> I try to lift QSS. So that just tilts me more. And yeah, that, that's it. That's it. But I think if, if I had gotten one more turn, I think I would be fine. Like just one more, like what, like one. And if I killed, if I just killed the Morgana, I'm alive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but it looked a little different than your roll down, right? Just a yeah, little different. A lot different. Like you actually went through to execute a legendary. Like it's well. I, I know you're saying like, oh, it's uh, you hit some indecisiveness, but it was the, the on six one. Going. I was a little indecisive. On six two, I wasn't. On six two, I was just unlucky. Yeah, it was just like unlucky with the rolls. But your you had a point. Like you had a purpose of rolling down. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I knew my win con. My win con was uh, a chosen legendary. Like over over like Azir and Set Azir. one star chosen legendary. Give me a freaking chosen legendary. Game did not give me that. I rolled, I believe, around 40 gold on, on 9. Did not hit. Yeah. Unlike me, I was just lost and was going everywhere. But I sold my whole bench because I knew I won one life, right? Yes. So, like, you were holding, <laughs> like, a two-star ribbon, <laughs> another ribbon, and, like, I'm on zero gold because I'm desperate. I knew that I'm going to die. Like, I know that I can die. So, like... And I just messed up with the positioning here. Yeah. So I got yeah, a little awesome. unlucky, but like you need to do it. Like you need to do this with this, this with purpose. Okay. So like yeah, it, it ends with a loss, but yeah, I mean a lot of games were. But like this is kind of what you want. Like this was a, a nice game. So I have the Kane, I have the uh, Yone, I have the Zillion, I have the Ezreal, I have Set, I have Azir, and I have random Vanguards and a Casio. And I think I probably could have positioned better or something. Uh, the Lee Sin kind of wanted for him. But like this is what you're aiming for. Perfect. And if you if you get super, super lucky, I will show you the, the, the comp you want to end with. And we can we can end the session there. This is the comp you want to end with. Basically two star all of them. All the legendaries plus Casio for Mystic and Dusk. That's this is this is That's, the the comp you're aiming for every game. Okay. Unless you hit a three star talent, three star ash, three star riven. But like this, the, the reason why legendaries are so good is because the items don't matter. Like look at this perfect item talent. He died fourth. Perfect item Jin and Riven, or like good item Jin, good item Riven. He died third. Uh, legendaries, he got second. I got all the legendaries, I got first. And today, oh yeah, there was another funny game. Just, just to show you the power of legendaries here. 
Uh, wait, was it this one? No. Oh, that was the day before. Sorry. Um, this one. Three star talent third. <laughs> Three star talent got a third. Because we had legendaries. We smacked the talent around. It was funny. So this is like a stand. This is, this is the comp from the grief sheet, right? Mm -hmm. that, what I showed you grief sheet, um, flex. Flex Talon, number one comp. Well, that's number one for people in low elo. People in high elo don't get baited by that and they just build something stronger. So, yeah. Okay. So, t takeaways, I just want to recap. Yeah, of course, recap, recap, go ahead. So, uh, early game, basically, we guaranteed the pre-level for 2-2 two -two guarantee chosen for uh, 40, one cost, 60. If you, cost. okay, if you have not seen a chosen, by 2-1, you can pre-level if you have the gold on 2-1 so that you're level two on two, uh, level 4 on 2-1 and you have higher odds of finding a 2-cost chosen. Perfect. Yeah, so that's, that's, yeah. that's a pre-level or level up to get a 2-cost chosen. Yeah, continue. Yes, yes. And then mid-game, basically, stage... Uh, I kind of forgot how uh, because I stopped typing mid game, so stage three, basically, uh, what was it? Game. Oh no, the pivoting. Was it the roll? Always buy pairs. That's very Always important. Buy pair. Always buy pairs and hold pairs. On stage two and stage three. Stage That's really important. Like if you can, if you can hit an upgrade, you're so much stronger than everyone else. Like if you have. Uh, two star one cost a board of like three of them or four of them you're probably going to win perfect yeah and then we only participate in the lottery if I, if my board's not strong enough yeah or to stabilize the board I mean literally lotteries and this bullshit and gambling typically or like gambling maybe not but lotteries are for poor people that's a sad, sad truth. Like, if you don't have any, like, the people buying lottery tickets are usually the people who need their money the most. Yes, that's true. And, like, rich people, like, they're smart enough to know, like, lottery is a scam. Like, I'm not going to pay 10 bucks to have a 1 in, I don't know, 50 million chance to win money. Like, it's pointless. Like, yes, if I win 50 million, great. But, like, I'm, it's not happening. So that's the same thing with, with like lottery in, in TFT. Like if you're broke, if you're dying, you participate in the lottery. Um, which was the game I got fourth here. Where was it? I got a fourth here with Talon. Yeah, this game. This game I got fourth with Talon uh, because I won the lottery. I was on my way to eighth. I was desperate. I rolled. I hit Talon. Chosen Talon. And he carried me from an eighth to a fourth. But like if you're if you're gonna get an eighth or a seventh, if you're kind of like dying, then you partake in the lottery. But if you're ahead, if you're rich, you're smart, you know that lottery's a scam, so you don't you don't do it. Okay, and just do what you did a while ago, the, the game that you showed me on your stream, which is just just something to improve and stabilize the game. Okay, so so for me I had I had Janna. Janna yeah. is not that amazing. Like Mystic is not like, it's good, it's not that great. I hit a, and then I hit a chosen Aatrox, cultist. I'm like, okay, I can roll with this. Um, for you, you had sharpshooters. And you had four sharpshooters. Four sharpshooters are still relatively strong on stage four. Um, where's my sharpshooter game? I had a sharpshooter game as well somewhere. Um, I think, oh, this, uh, yeah, maybe you can't tell, but this is a sharpshooter game. The second place. Okay. You can, you can maybe watch on the yeah. stream. I played sharpshooters to get to eight, to get to nine, and then I sold all of them. Because they're, like, they're, they fall off. So I sold all of them. Because you, you don't need them later on. I think it was this game. Yeah, this game. Look at this. This is this is what you do on on. This was the one I maybe I want to show you. So this is similar board to you. 
Uh, look at this, yeah. 4-1. Look at my 4-1 roll down. There we go. That's my 4-1 roll down. That's it. That's, That's it. Rich. I'm not even the strongest in the lobby, but I'm like, okay, I, I want to, like, I know sharps fall off. I know sharpshooters fall off, right? I know that. You know that. And I barely win. And I just keep going. Uh, okay, yeah, here I realized, oh, okay, I realized I was not strong enough, so I rolled a bit. Because my board was one star, right? So one star board, I need to upgrade it a little bit. I don't need to sell my chosen. I don't need to sell my chosen because I'm cool with this. Okay. I know exactly why I'm rolling. I'm rolling to get my to get upgrades. I got my upgrades. And I sell. Uh, and I'm back at 30 gold. And then you just wait and see what happens. Um, yeah, of course. If I if I I'm, I'm in under 30, yeah. So I wait. And now it's like, okay, this is probably strong enough. And let's find out. I, I mean, I think I lose a round at some point. But I get, I get back to 50. Oh, never mind. I keep winning. I keep winning. Now I lost. But that's fine. Now I make sure that I can go to 9. 6 sharpshooters. They're trash. Stage 5. 6 sharpshooters are trash. They, they no longer provide anything, right? Mm -hmm. So I cut, I cut the Timo and I cut the Nidley. And now I cut this. And as soon as I hit something, I can just start cutting things. And this was my sharpshooter pivot into legendaries. And again, it's like the same comp. Every, every game, you kind of want to play the same comp. Because it's that powerful, and I kill a guy. I just sold my all every I sold my most of my units oh, and yeah. there. Most of the units, yeah. Again, I'm trying to find a chosen. Again, I'm not finding a, a legendary chosen, but like that's just a bit unlucky. So I'm losing okay. <laughs> losing HP. But well, it's like the point of that was to get to nine and, and there we go. Do that yeah. Endgame. yeah, exactly. And the, here, my mistake is I did not, I did not sell the... Um, I should have sold Sejuani or Aatrox and put more items on set, because set is my carry now. And this is a uh, chosen set against three-star... Uh, three-star Talon, goodbye Talon. And then, yeah, I think I hit the cane. Like, I just... Yeah, this guy is even stronger than me. Look at his board. Mm. Pretty similar oh, to my board. Scary. But he has the he has the Lee Sin, Who's just knocking everything out. Yeah, Lee Sin is strong. Yeah. Okay. You, you you kind of get the trend, like what what you're aiming for now? Yes, 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 sir. I got I got it. Like that's that's like now I know what the path is to go to. Like uh just basically don't get on four one unless, you know, I'm poor and it's I'm about to lose, so I need to make something happen to yeah. the fourth at least. And when do I usually roll down to, is there a specific, or is it you feel the game and then you roll down into certain, like, I know you mentioned something about don't ever roll down before the fight on, like, what was it, 6-1 six, no. six, before the creeps or something like that? No, no, you never roll during, uh, you never roll right before, right before creeps. Like, unless you're going to die. Because look, like, I mean, it's like, okay, so here I do roll because I can die. And because I'm weak. But like, uh, for example, I think I showed you on 4-1, on like I did roll a little bit yeah, on 4-1. But I rolled, like, I knew exactly what I'm rolling for. That's kind of, you need to know what you're rolling for. Or 4-2, I rolled on 4-2. Like, you need to know what you're rolling for. Like, just looking at your board, like, I know here... It's weak. It's weak, right? Because everything is one star, apart from, mm -hmm. from the chosen or, like, one other unit. Yeah, everything is one star. Everything was one star. So, like, I cannot play with this board. 
much longer, like on stage four. This is not a stage four board, right? Yeah. So then, but I, I want to keep the Wayne because I'm cool with the Wayne. I don't need to get greedy. And I, I, I'm happy with the units I have right now. I'm happy with sharpshooters. And then I get back to 30. Yeah. So I rolled from 50 to 30, and I got strong enough to go on an eight win streak because I have six sharpshooters. And I know six sharpshooters are good on stage four, but they're trash on stage five and beyond trash on stage six. Like, they do not win lobbies. Or like, in your ELO, six sharpshooters do win lobbies, but in my ELO, they don't. Okay. So it just, yeah. So it's just like, but it's, it's like you need to like pick these habits up. These are hard things to teach. Like I can show you, I can explain it, and you just got to pick it up. Like you, yeah. you always need to like, you always need to know why you're doing something and just do it. Yeah, and, it, it and, it's, and in some games, I do make the wrong choice as well. That's why I got a bunch of eights. But at least I made the conscious choice and I pivot into that composition and I do everything I can like given that composition and like shifting over to it. But like like you're playing a mix between Elderwood Ash and uh, Dusk Riven. Right? Like Yes. It's either Dusk Riven, this shit, or it's Elderwood Ash. Or it's legendaries. But it's not Elderwood Riven. Like without even Riven like Riven being Elderwood. Well, like there was no need for the ash and for the for the Ezreal and like the comp was not that powerful. So just aim for more powerful comps in general. Okay. Okay. I guess uh, you recapped. I recapped. We're capped. <laughs> We're capped. We're both capped. So if if that's if that's all from your side, KP, it's all from my side. Yeah, that's uh, perfect. Uh, great insight on my end. Happy to hear that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. You're welcome. Uh, I'll mess, I'll mess Take care. Yeah, yeah, you too, brother.